Coming soon. The VocTech Podcast, a new show from the makers of the EdTech Podcast, supported by UFI Charitable Trust. But let's be brutally honest, productivity and growth is poor nationally. Why? Yeah, the report today is almost a tale of two cities. Job creation, fantastic, but a massive uh, productivity issue, and they're driving, in some cases, with a handbrake on. So major companies like Walmart, Chipotle, and Verizon are using VR to prepare employees for what they could see on the job. You know, one of the big things in this workforce, the fastest growing employment opportunity in the world is temporary labor. It's really interesting because those jobs are growing at nearly 60% on a year-over-year basis in almost every geography around the world. Join us twice a month for the VocTech podcast to explore the intersection of adult learning and tech, including career and HR tech. Is machine learning better matching students, employees, employers and training resources? The skills gap versus underutilised existing talent arguments lifelong learning and the future of work remote working what does the learning and development role look like in the age of distributed teams access how can we get more workplace learning opportunities to a more diverse workforce and landscape in what political social and economic worlds will upskilling and reskilling really flourish all over the country schools of a secondary type are being opened to train boys of 13 and 14 who want to become builders. They get a general and scientific training covering a variety of subjects. The practical side is equally important. And each week, some time is spent in the workshops. They really see this great opportunity to get young people who have resilience, who are very conscientious, who have interpersonal skills, who know how to learn, and who are hungry to get ahead in their career. That's what they're looking for. It's, it's a lot of passion, it's a lot of motivation and intent, but it's also core competencies. I think there is a new reality around people looking for different things in employees. Um, can I just uh, make a, a, an observation? I think most of the questions so far have been about higher education and universities. Actually, at least half of this report, if not more, covers recommendations for further education for the rest of tertiary education, for adult learning as well. If you're interested in lifelong learning, join our existing listeners from over 145 countries to broaden the conversation through the VogTech podcast, Learning Continued. You'll hear from adult educators from diverse training organisations, employers and learning development specialists, investors in vocational and adult education, tech companies, academics, policy advisors and lifelong learners. What's the trade-off? Is there a trade-off between performance and development? Because too many times we see that performance conversations take precedent Mm. in, in organization and the, the platforms and tools that companies use for performance often are conflated with development. So you know you've got your action plan for the year or for the quarter and then your development goals are, are the are an afterthought. Corporate um, science enterprises are predicted to be spending a hundred billion on the in the next 10 years on digitizing their work so moving much more into these digital tools. That means there's a huge training gap <laughs> in theory. If they're going to be spending all this money and moving towards what's called kind of a digital first approach, then they are also going to need to train people very, very quickly. They didn't tell me the whole story. They told me half the story. And when I opened one of the cans, it, op- it opened up and a, and a million black flies flew out. And the whole factory was infested for a whole day. And there's a whole day of production downtime. And that was a costly error. They, they, just, they just didn't tell me what to look out for. And I thought, I'm in a dead-end job here. I'm, I'm in a technical job here, which I've got no hopes for promotion of. I've got a wife, three kids, and Plymouth Argyle to support. <laughs> and, and, and really, how They're am I... They're probably doing better then. <laughs> yeah, they, were, they were doing better then, yeah. <laughs> and um, the thing is, what am I going to do with my life? And so I thought, I'm going to have to go off and, and do something different. And, and so at that point, I started teaching... The nurses, I was now now in the NHS, I started teaching nurses how to use computers. As I said, at university you get this community, but actually we need to make sure that no matter what pathway you arrive in the workplace through, that you still have that group of people that you can talk to about your next steps or the challenges that you have. And I think tech has a massive role to play in that. Um, So, of course, when when we get um, learners into the building or into any industry, really, 
Um, you know, we don't just drop them straight in the middle uh, of uh, an operational environment that could be uh, hazardous if they're not trained properly uh, and they need to be able to fail uh, safely. Um, so um, it's, it's interesting that within uh, the virtual uh, reality environment, we can now allow learners to go into a, a kind of a, a, a nuclear situation and there are some areas where you need to be very careful. We can allow learners to become exposed to some of those areas in VR so we can close the loop very tightly on learning and whilst also keeping the learners safe. But they do get that sense of, um, of live engagement, which if you've never done VR, um, you must do because it truly, you truly let go at some point and start um, you know, mapping uh, your your mind onto the virtual environment. And of course, we'd love to hear from you all on the social medias. You can follow us at Podcast EdTech and at UFI Trust and message using the hashtag VocTech. The VocTech podcast, Learning Continued, launches officially in September. Look out for our launch meetup, newsletter sign up and live podcast events around the world. To listen to the show alongside our existing content, subscribe now on iTunes and Android players by searching for our host feed, the EdTech podcast, and don't forget to share with a friend. That's all for now. Bye bye.